The Palm Springs Aerial Tramway is the largest rotating aerial tramway in the world, and it takes you from the floor of the Coachella Valley to Mount San Jacinto State Park, which sits at 8,516 feet in elevation. It's a wild experience to go from desert to forest, let alone snow, in just 10 minutes. Tickets are $29.95 for adults and $17.95 for children, and parking is also $12. I highly recommend getting your tickets in advance, including your parking online. Although you can buy tickets upon arrival, during peak times the wait can easily be over an hour. Knowing that snowfall was likely up top during our visit due to a current rainstorm, we thought we'd have to fight the crowds for the fresh powder. But in actuality, the place was nearly empty, and they allowed us to board early. <laughs> nice. When booking online, you'll actually pick a certain hour or time frame you'd like to board, so also be sure to plan ahead and get there with plenty of time to park. Once aboard, you'll ascend two and a half miles, during which you're greeted with spectacular views of the valley. It can be a bit leery if you're scared of heights, but the beauty of watching the mountainside transition from desert chaparral to snow-covered conifer forest is all sorts of magical. And even though the tram slowly rotates to give you a 365 degree view, we didn't feel motion sickness at all. Once you step off the tram at the mountain station and enter the lobby, you'll find observation decks, natural history museum, and an upstairs bar called Lookout Lounge, along with a quick grab and go restaurant called The Pines Cafe, and also a fine dining spot called Peaks Restaurant that has epic views of the valley, and they do encourage reservations. To start, we grabbed a bite to eat at Pines Cafe and also some drinks at the bar. Me and my boyfriend shared a chicken salad and a chili for around $30, and two drinks also cost us about $25. With the snow falling outside, we were living our best lives. There's also a gift shop that has winter gear and sleds while supplies last, but if you don't want to pay like $30 a sled, bring your own. We did, and it was a good thing because they were totally sold out. We headed downstairs to make our way outside. To get to the trails below, there is somewhat of a steep path of switchbacks. With the winter weather, it was pretty icy, so I wore crampons, which were a lifesaver. I got this affordable pair on Amazon and we'll leave a link in the description. Once we got to the bottom, we were greeted to a winter wonderland. There are apparently 50 miles of trails, but with the snow it was hard to tell, but this would make for a great snowshoeing experience. Hmm, time to plan another trip. And we let the sledding fun begin. With minimal crowds and a storm coming in, it felt like we had the forest to ourselves. It was also my friend's first time sledding and we just had a frickin' blast being super silly. Once it started to get dark and ominous, we made our way back to the mountain station. Make sure you keep track of how to get back. When it's covered in snow, it's extremely easy to get lost. I almost sent us in the wrong direction. My bad. But we made it. We made it back, don't worry. Uh, yeah. By the time we made it to the switchbacks back up to the station, the storm was really rolling in, and I was thankful for my crampons because it just got icier. Not to mention colder. Pro tip, pack some hot packs or something in your pockets that you can kind of stuff into your gloves or in your jackets if you're staying out in the snow. And also don't forget to hydrate, bring a water bottle. It's easy to forget when it's cold. Once we made it back up to the top, we had some drinks to warm us up. An espresso martini felt like the move. We went on a weekend during the holidays, so we were also greeted by holiday lights, a cheery vibe, and a school choir performance singing Christmas songs. We headed out at around 6 p.m. and took the aerial tram down the mountain in the darkness with the glow of the city below as our only guide while we descended. 
With the winter chill blowing in through the window, along with the utter silence except for the hum of Christmas music, it was just a beautifully calm, surreal end to a really fun day. I can't wait to come back during the summer for hiking and even some camping. I'd love to see the mountain lush and green. Southern California is pretty amazing. In the morning, you could be in the mountains, in the snow, and by sunset, you could be sitting on a warm sandy beach. It's just incredible. If you can, be sure to make it out to this spot any time of year. It's the perfect day trip if you're in SoCal. I hope you enjoyed this visit to the Palm Springs Aerial Tram. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'd love to touch base and help you plan your next trip. And don't forget to check out my blog for all the trip details, including tickets, directions, and links to all my gear. And you can find a link to the blog in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel and it helps tell me that you want more content. You do want more content, right? This year we have some fun trips planned and I can't wait to show you. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you to the ends of the earth. And remember, no risk, no magic. Catch you in the next one. So go ahead, give me a sign. Cause we won't know if we don't cross the line